Today we're looking at a brand new device on the market. Really excited to be one of the first to bring this to you guys. Uh, it's a brand new wearable, kind of. It's a bit of a hybrid between a handheld and a wearable device. Really cool, really innovative. And this is what it looks like. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to the channel where I show you the tips and tricks and gadgets to help you live your best blind life. So if this kind of information sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So like I said, this is a brand new wearable hybrid. It's called the Onyx and it's brought to us by Oxite. And in fact, The Blind Life is one of the first channels to feature it in the US, which is really pretty cool. It's a lightweight and a much more affordable wearable device that hopefully will get a lot of people into the wearable market. When I say it's a small device, I'm not kidding. This is the case that it fits in. Once again, I have it upside down. There you go. This is the case, super tiny. And in fact, here, is the device itself. If you guys remember the old Viewmaster toy from the 80s, this is exactly what this reminds me of. So as far as weight, this guy comes in at right around eight ounces. So half a pound is what this weighs. So talking about lightweight, this is probably the lightest wearable device with cameras and screens and everything that I've ever tried. So earlier I said it was kind of a hybrid device. Uh, it's a wearable and a handheld all rolled into one. Because like it is right now, uh, it is a handheld device. I can hold it up just like a pair of binoculars and I can zoom in, I can take a screenshot, I can do a lot of different things. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But that's all handheld. Then when I don't need it, I can drop it down and hang it around my neck with the provided lanyard. And actually, real quickly, <laughs> this is not the lanyard that will come with the device. This is just the one they sent to me with this demo unit. Um, <laughs> you're not going to get a crazy wild lanyard like this. I think it's just going to be a black lanyard. But if you want to add a little extra style to your device, customizing your lanyard, that's an easy way to do that. So, like I was saying, I can hold it up and use it. Whenever I need to, if I want to see something, I can quickly bring it up and look at it and then drop it back down. Uh, that's really one of the benefits of this is the speed and convenience. But if you wanted to wear it for a long period of time, say you're watching a hockey game or something like that, they give you this detachable head strap. Clips on very easily. And now you have a head strap. And if I take my hat off here, put it on. And because it's only eight ounces, I think it's like 240 grams or something around there, you can wear it for a long period of time because it's not heavy on your face at all. And as I say with all wearable devices, you know, you could put a little bit of padding, a little bit of foam right here in the nose piece, and that would definitely make it even more comfortable. But as it is right now, it's not bad at all. You have six buttons on the top, and very tactile buttons. It's easy to feel the difference in the buttons, no problem at all. You also have the ability to adjust the eye cup width. These eye cups slide left and right. You have these little brackets on the side that you use to connect the head strap and the lanyard. And then finally, it has a USB type C charging port on the right side. And that's really about it. The camera is on the front here, right in the center, and you've got some LEDs that show up when you're charging. Other than that, there's not much to it. Uh, that's one benefit of this, is it's gonna be very easy to use for a lot of people. As far as the battery, uh, if you are going to continuously use this, the battery will last for about two hours. This does have an auto sleep function, so if you're using this and then you set it down, eventually it will go to sleep and then that's going to extend the battery for much, much longer. I didn't confirm this, but you could probably also plug it up and use it while it's plugged up to the wall or to an external battery. Now, the design when you don't have the head strap on, um, it's pretty straightforward. You've got a little spot for your nose. You have some textured bumps on the bottom where your thumb would naturally rest. 
The fingers up here at the top are in the perfect position to interact with the buttons and zoom in, zoom out, change the different modes and all of that. And really that's about it. There's not much to it, which once again, I keep going back to it, but that's what's really, really cool about this is it's simple and easy to use. Maybe you're out camping, you're out hiking, you're like, hey, is that a bird? Oh yeah, it's a bird. Ah, and then keep on down the trail. <laughs> really, I mean, there's not much to it. The basic functions are magnification and the ability to take a screenshot. Magnification, it magnifies up to eight times and the lowest magnification is still magnified a little bit. Meaning when you put this on at the lowest magnification, it is already zoomed in a little bit from what you would naturally see. Uh, I will mention that it looks like it does have some built-in stabilization, which is always nice to see. That way, when you are zoomed in at the higher magnification, that eight times magnification, and you're looking at something in the distance, it's not gonna be shaking around and jittery and really hard to focus on. Then the screenshot, it's a basic snapshot you press the pause button and the image will freeze. Uh, but then you can also zoom in and zoom out. And there's a bit of a gyroscopic function built in to where when you're zoomed into the image, you can then move your head around and look at the different parts of the image, which is pretty cool. The modes that you get on the Onyx, at least right now, I don't know if they're gonna add more in the future, but at least right now you have faces, TV, live object and effects. Faces is gonna be great if you're sitting there having a conversation with somebody, you can put on faces and it kind of zooms in and highlights the person's face and kind of enhances it and makes it more of the focus. TV is kind of similar, but it also allows you to change like the brightness of the image and that sort of thing. Live object is kind of cool. Uh, when you turn that on, a little text box appears and it tries to identify whatever you're looking at. So for example, a second ago, I tried looking at my camera and it told me it was a projector. Uh, so it's AI, it's object recognition. Um, it's not always going to be 100% correct, but you know, that's kind of close. In this particular situation on a tripod with wires coming out of it, I could totally see why I thought it was a projector. Then you have effects and you have a couple effects in there things like inverted colors um, and also a contrast, a high contrast mode. So definitely if you're reading text, for example, the inverted could be very helpful for that. Then you also have the ability to adjust the brightness. Brightening the image definitely helped for me. So I recommend playing around with that. Uh, and then finally you have a settings area. I didn't go into the settings to kind of see what's in there, but you do have that available. Okay, and shutting down. All right guys, so there you go. That was a quick look at the brand new wearable device, the Onyx by Oxite. Real quick, before I give you my final thoughts on the device, why don't you guys let me know what you think about it? Jump down into the comments and leave a comment about your opinion on the Onyx. So my overall thoughts on it are pretty good. Um, I love the form factor. I love the hardware. As I said before, I love the ability to just be like walking down the street and like, oh, okay, what's that? Yeah, zoom in, there you go, that's nice. And keep on walking. <laughs> I really see that being a big draw to this. A lot of wearable devices tend to be big and bulky. So you've gotta sit there and put it on and get it going and all this stuff. But I really see the future of wearables being small, lightweight, low profile, easy to use, fast to use, I don't wanna have to be like, hold on, let's wait before we can play the board game because I gotta get this all on and get it tuned into the right mode and everything. I wanna just be able to enjoy my family. Like, yeah, 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 oh, it's my turn? Okay, let me see. All right, oh, snake eyes. Yeah, okay, move my piece. <laughs> the, the wearable device is supposed to help me and enhance my experience, not take me out of the experience. I think this is also gonna be great for people that are hesitant to use a big bulky headset system out in public. That's one of the biggest comments I get on devices other than pricing, pricing is always number one, is that people say they wouldn't wear that out in public. They would be self-conscious about wearing that out in public. So something like this, I could see this being much more approachable to those people. 
Something else that's really nice and is going to appeal to a lot of people is the fact that it's all open. You have it on your eyes here, but I can totally, with my peripheral, I can see you over there, the camera. I can see everything around me. So a lot of people are gonna like that. Um, I love the fact that it's so lightweight. Remember, just about half a pound. I think it's like 8.4 ounces when you put on the head strap. If I had to nitpick a couple of things about the hardware, uh, really only two things. Number one is the buttons. I would love a little bit more contrast on these buttons, color contrast. You can see that the three buttons on each side is just this big area of gray color. I would love each button to maybe have a different color. Even the little tactile element that's sticking up, maybe have that be a different color. They are very tactile, so it's not a big deal, uh, but I would like there to be a little bit of color contrast on there. The buttons are a little tough to press too. You kind of have to push down a little, little firmly there. And then finally, the camera resolution isn't as good as I would like. Now I understand to get the smaller profile and even the lower price, some sacrifices had to be made, but I would still like to see a higher resolution camera. Now they did say that in their testing, all their testing, their beta testing with all their different focus groups, across the board, pretty much everybody had about an 80% increase in their ability to see faces, watch television and read text. However, for me personally, I didn't have a lot of success reading text with it. Now, as I always say on all of my videos and my reviews, just because these are the results that I'm getting with my vision impairment doesn't mean you guys are gonna get that same result. This is going to work fantastic for a lot of people and it's not gonna work at all for a lot of people. Just keep that in mind. All right, as far as pricing and availability, the Onyx is currently being sold for $1,799, so right around $1,800. I believe that makes this one of the cheapest wearable devices on the market. As far as where to get it, I will put a list of available locations in the description down below. So if you're watching this in the future or whenever, definitely check the description for an updated list of places that offer the Onyx. But that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look at the brand new Onyx from Oxite. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out with that. You can also, once again, check out the description for a full list of locations that sell the Onyx with their contact information. I'm sure they would probably do a better job of answering questions than I would. As always guys, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. It definitely helps out the channel. Also make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life. I post new videos every single Saturday on vision loss, advocacy, accessibility, and the coolest, newest assistive technology that can help you live your best blind life. All right guys, that's it for this one. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.